Boys and girls, at 9.15, moving up day will take place, and you will travel to your new teacher for next year. Come on down, my big first graders. Next year, you guys are going to be coming to see me every single day. Move Up Day gives the children an opportunity to meet their new teacher. It's good for the kids to see you've completed your first year and now we're moving you up and you are going to be starting a whole new academic career. If there's one thing that Mrs. Martinez wants you guys to do over the summer, read. Who reads? Everybody, what's the most important thing you have to do? Read. read. Have a good summer and remember, what are you guys going to do? Boys and girls, school will resume on Monday, August 28th. We expect to see all of you here. Bye. You, Bye. you better give me a hug and be a good boy on the bus. Bye. Get lots of reading done. There's a debate on how we teach kids how to read. It's called the Reading Wars. I'm a casualty of the Reading Wars, so I know what it's like to fail in a class like this. And I don't want that to happen to anyone else ever again. So I made it my mission in life to find out how to fix it. Judge Cole. Judge Cole. Over the years, I met a bunch of amazing people. I know what you're gonna do with all this film you're taking. Who not only changed my life, but they figured out a way to teach reading that works. Who is the most Harvey Hubble? How are you? Hi, fine. How are hey, you? Hey, pretty good. My story is almost like an action movie where a ragtag team of misfits come together to save the world. Howdy love, how are you? And unlike the movies. It's true. This is for camera one. Who are these misfits? Marker. Camera two. They're scientists, educators, moms, and they have a lot to say. When our task force comes out, we show up. 66% of our children are reading below grade level in the fourth grade. We're allowing two thirds of our students to not learn to read proficiently. 83% of African-American fourth graders are reading at a basic level or below. When our test scores come out and show us what is really a shocking situation, it's not that shocking because it's only a little bit worse than it was the last time. And it's been this way for a long time. Clearly, low literacy is makes it hard to thrive and has devastating consequences for a lot of people. Low literacy is really associated with dropping out, low employment. It doesn't just affect you because you can't read for an hour a day. It affects you for the rest of your life. Schools need to change! How can you not be worried sick about the future of this country? Our educational system is in crisis. The problem is a national problem, and if we want to be the ones who open the doors of opportunity for people in our country, we've got to get reading right the first time. Education revolution! We have to change the way we educate kids, or we are at the end of Rome. And it's burning.